Hi friends, I hope you're having a lovely day today. I wanted to make a quick video and talk about using the uh, using a sense of motion in your photography, creating a sense of motion. And I have a couple of photos here, or a few to be exact, that illustrate that point well. If you would like to check out these photographers and uh, maybe like one of their photos or send them money or items that maybe you would find in the produce aisle of your local grocer, uh, you can find the links to these profiles below. So one of the, the one of the wonderful fu functions of creating a sense of motion by dragging the shutter speed, um, if we're speaking technically, is to create a sense of atmosphere and drama. And you can see that here in this photo. This is, is illustrated well where this is a photo of sort of uh, nothing, really. There's not, there's not a subject really other than the city itself, the atmosphere and the vibe and the mood of the city. And using a sense of motion can create, one, drama, and two, sort of an ambiguity to things. A, a, uh, this is a picture of everything kind of feel, and it's done in a pleasing way when it's done this way. So, <laughs> and also the lighting is fantastic here. This is a great example. Uh, this is another one that I find fantastic. This is just a fantastic shot altogether. It's fantastic, and everything. It's fantastic, and I'm fantastic, it's, and I fantastic coffee is fantastic. Oh, coffee, okay. Uh, so the, this is one thing that can go wrong when shooting motion is you can have everything be in motion, and then the photo can feel. A little confusing. It can, it can, it, your eye doesn't have anything to sort of grapple to. And in this case, you see two particular points where your eye can grapple to, and it really makes this photo what it is. The first one is the stripe going down perfectly down the center of the road. Uh, the skateboarder, I assume, got down low and took a photo of the stripe, and, the, and uh, you can kind of feel like you're going down the road with the stripe. Very pleasing effect. And then also the, um, this is wonderfully done. The skater, the top half of the skater's the bottom half is in motion, but the top half is perfectly still. And the skater is obviously the uh, subject of this photo. And having the top half be sharp like that draws your eye to it, and it makes this photo really feel nice. The next photo I want to look at is uh, interesting. I know what you're thinking. James, what are you doing? There's no motion here! Uh, so, dragging the shutter is only one way to create motion, and I, I want to illustrate that here. And uh, so I threw in a curveball. Another way to create a sense of motion and, and, and drama is by using expression, by using very uh, dramatic expressions that our brain tells us, oh, that's, that thing is moving. That thing is probably moving very quickly and very sporadically. You can see, I mean, he has his tongue hanging out of his mouth. His his facial expression's pretty crazy. And then you have his arms flying up in the air as he's balancing himself. And um, everything feels very intense right now because of the expression. And so uh, he could have introduced some motion blur here for sure, but he didn't need it to create this this dramatic sense of motion. So that's it. I hope this was helpful to you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any uh, thoughts or any ways I can expand upon this further, let me know. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.